thing is, <clears throat> I've been trying to be as honest as I possibly can for a while now. I've considered myself a truth teller. And the the really interesting thing is that I learned through, you know, lots of research and marketing and, you know, just learning how to develop connection is that if you're honest, if you're truly honest, you're going to you're going to evoke a reaction in people. People are going to have to react to you because if you shine a light in the darkness, either people are going to be drawn to it or they're going to pull away. That's how, that's how light works. People either want to be in the light or they don't. You know, have you ever been into a dark room, you know, just chilling with your headphones on and somebody flips on the lights? What do you do? You hide because you're not ready for it. Or think about the opposite situation. If you were in a cave and you were lost and you were alone and you were searching for a way out, if somebody's shined a light, you would run towards it. That's that's the that's the principle I've been operating on, thinking that if I just tell the truth, my message would reach the right people. I would start being heard. I would start getting interaction and engagement, and and my message would start to spread. And I've been battling with this this feeling of inadequacy because it's not happening. And as I was writing today, I was just you know working out my thoughts. I was really. And I was just really playing in my in my head with that thought of just, you know, being honest. And I've been doing a lot of reading and research and trying to develop myself into the best possible version I can be so I can really help people. And what I realized was that as much as I've been telling the truth, like I, I will tell you anything that you ask me about my life. I, I'll, you know, I'll go into my, you know, the times I cheated into the times I did heavy drugs my failures as a father, my fucked up relationships with my parents. I don't care. I'll talk about all of it. But what I didn't realize is that I won't feel about it. I'll tell the truth, but I won't feel the truth. And this was a, a, a kind of a shocking revelation. I, I'd really been so just hell bent on being truthful and being honest. that I didn't realize that as I was telling these truths, I was separating myself from the emotions that were connected to them. As I was talking about being a cheater, being unfaithful to my wife, that I didn't let myself feel the embarrassment and disgust I had for myself and the the frustration and the disconnection that I had that led to that situation. I didn't have any interaction with the feelings that came associated with that process. So telling the truth wasn't enough. I still am not coming across as genuine because I'm not letting people see the pain. I know it exists. I don't actively try to suppress it, but I don't think that I've been actively trying to feel it. And I think the reason I figured out why is that I have this, this persistent feeling of fear. Like I'm always scared. And because I'm always scared, it's just, I'm used to it. I'm used to just always being terrified that I'm going to fuck up. And that is the feeling that I, that I feel. It is the anesthetic to all the other feelings. It just numbs everything else out. There's just a persistent fear that I'm used to and I'm comfortable with. The fear of success. The fear of failure. Both. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm afraid that I won't be able to pull it off. I won't be able to be this self-starting entrepreneur who builds something that provides freedom for my family. And then what if I do? What if I do pull it off? What if I do put myself in a position to change my family's lives? Am I gonna fuck it up? I'm scared. There's no doubt about it. There's no question. I am fucking terrified. And as I was, as I was figuring this out, as I was coming to terms with the fact that I've been separating from all my emotions because of the fear that is so persistent in me, I realized that there's a lesson to be learned there. That telling the truth is not enough. Being honest is not enough. You have to feel that truth. Telling the truth is for other people. Feeling the truth is for you. And I haven't been, I haven't been living for me. I've been wanting to get out here and create this difference in other people, not to make myself feel better, 
because I really want to do that. But I don't think I'm ever going to be able to create the change in others if I'm afraid of what I might do to myself. I have to stop hiding from those feelings. I have to be, I have to be scared. I have to be okay being scared. I have to talk about being scared. And then I have to just fucking be scared. It's scary. <laughs> it's terrifying. And it's lonely. I can tell somebody I'm scared, but they can't, they can't put a nightlight in for me. There's no nightlight for my life. There's nothing that's going to light the path for my future and tell me for a fact that everything is going to be okay. I'm still going to be scared. The fear is going to exist to some degree, probably always. Because of my background and the experiences I've been through, there's so much uncertainty that I've experienced my entire life that I just expect uncertainty. It's what I'm comfortable in. So as I grow and as I become better and I learn how to plan for things and prepare and try to make myself bulletproof and turn myself into a weapon for my purpose, I'm still going to be scared because the world is still going to be happening. I can do everything I can to try to take control and to try to be everything that I need to be, but stuff is still going to happen and I'm going to be scared. The difference is, is that I can't let that stop me anymore. I can't let that fear stop me from feeling the feelings. I can't let it stop me from taking the actions. I can't let it stop me from doing what I know needs to be done. And that's something that, that has changed. The fear has always, not obviously, but it has hindered me from acting. It has been, like I said, the anesthetic from connecting. I haven't been able to feel the connection because I was too busy being scared and not talking about it. I'm scared and that's okay. I know that somebody else is out, out there is scared too, and they're going to take these words and they're going to admit that they're scared too. And they're going to appreciate my honesty and they're going to feel my genuine care for them. And that I'm putting myself out here and telling them about my fear because I want them to feel seen. I want them to be supported. I want them to be lifted up. I want to do anything I can to provide a better future for them. And I wish, if nothing else, somebody would say in the comments, I'm scared. Don't let other people, I don't care. I don't care if there's anybody with me. I know that everybody else is scared. But there are other people who think that they're alone and they could use your story. Just say I'm scared in the comments. Let them know they're not alone. That's it for today. If you're scared, you know, it's okay.